Alright, what's up YouTube? You're back again with another top 16 Oceanic deck profile with Daniel Feldman. He's got a good run this weekend. He's come top 16 in both events. Yeah. How do you feel? Yeah, pretty good. I'm really, really, really happy with it all. This I'm kind of tired, but... Uh, this is your first top 16 top in Oceanics, yeah? Yeah, um, my first top in Oceanics uh, and my first top in Nationals like this weekend, so it was really good. Um, Hopefully yeah. next year you can break the top sixteen. Yeah, that's top. the plan. I yeah, it's been a while. It's hard to crack through that one, but uh, yeah, all the players are really, really good, and they're all really encouraging. So I look forward to meeting them and talking to them again next year, and you know, having a better go at it. Alrighty, all right. Let's take a look at the deck list. Yeah, so I played um Trickstar Sky Strikers, um, and like the main deck's pretty generic, but I did change out from Nationals. Nationals was like slightly different. Um, Lily Bell, I hate drawing this card so much, uh, and I drew it a lot in Nationals, but I didn't draw it very much at all today. I think that was just because, like, deck choices that I changed. Uh, two Lycoris, I didn't think I needed a third. Um, it was really good at two, and I never, never needed to, I really never needed to find more than that, and, like, drawing it's not the best, so two is fine. Uh, three Candina, this card's insane, love this card. Uh, it's just a plus one, and, like, the whole deck is just a plus one, so, like, you're always just making plus one plays. Um, it's just whether or not in the grind match, like whether or not you can make your opponent stop plussing one to win the game. Um, there's a number of games I had where it was just like we were like I evened it out and we were just like top decking for game and oh sorry he was just top decking for game. It was like I simplified the game state. It was really good. Uh, I tried out to um, Ghost Bella, Ghost Bell. Uh, it was originally impermanence, um, but I found impermanence just did nothing for me. Um, and like only really bad plays would get hit by it. Whereas this one was like just drops out of your hand Especially the when field. they have Candino and fuel and you just use impermanence and they just tag out and it doesn't do anything Yeah, correct. Um, and then like this just beats the reincarnation So like the summon back the monster like the lily bell to like kill you or even the lily bell effect to add back a card um, This gets it. So it was like really really good for the mirror match. Yeah, because it's a negate the activation so you yeah. can activate can act it in the damage type. Correct, correct. As well as um, you can use this card on the sky striker like cards to add them when Kagari adds back from the grave. Um, so, like, it's not optimal to do that, but, like, if you know that, that like, that's the card they drew and that's the way they're playing it, like, then you can use it and just guarantee that that's the card you're going to hit well with it. Uh, three Ash, um, great card. Good all day. Fucking love this card. It's so pretty. Uh, three Droll. Uh, it's, like, the... It's just a really bad card. Um, and then just because the format's so bad, this card's actually just, like, great. Um... And then you're running reincarnation, so like I like cheesing wins. It never came up. I never got to do that to anyone. I, I did draw, draw reincarnation someone today, and they had no cards, and I won the grind match because I simplified the state. But uh, it is just an average card. Only good because of the deck that it's in. Um, three more Trickstar, Light Stage, uh, Search Candina. So it searches all Trickstar cards. I, every time I had this card, I had someone drop me. It was just painful. So, um, but. Yeah, and then there's three more Trickstar Light Stage, uh, and every time I had this card, they had, had draw. So like, I just never draw. If I sorry, every time I had this card, they had shared ride. Every time I had reincarnation, they had sorry Light Stage, they had um, draw. So it's like I'm just losing in all the matchups, but it's all right. Uh, clearly, can't be that bad, right? Uh, three engage. Um, I resolved it three times in one game. Um, in one turn of one game, it was really good. I, I won that one. Uh, three horn bit, uh, really good. It's fine. Uh, and then the one, the only Sky Striker um, non like monster card working thing generator is like Afterburner. Um, this is really good, but um, after playtesting, sorry, after versing, like people like Bowden and stuff, and like all the mirror matches. Like, whenever I got Winnow anchored, I just lost the game because, like, uh, in the Trickstar like, Mirror, like, they just steal your good cards and just link with it and just removes your monster and pluses them, like, three cards, which is, um, like, all my losses were to Widow Anchor. So uh, I would play that if I was to go again. And I don't know what I'd cut, but I'd find something to cut for it because it's just, it's too good. Yeah, you have to run it. Uh, three Corp of the Grave. I never saw it enough. Um, but, you know, what are you going to do? It was in, yeah, whenever I did see it, it was really, really good. Uh, two shed ride is really strong today. Uh, every time I remember I activated it, I uh, either won the game or it got ashed. So it was all right. Uh, three goat, three goat is good. Goat is great. Goat is god. God is win con. Yeah. Uh, and then my other card. So I probably cut one of these maybe for the widow anchor. 
but I main two Twin Twister, which came in great the first couple of rounds, because it's just, I've kept, I've missed like three True Draco in a row at Oceanics, um, for my first three rounds, and they were just like, they can be really difficult if you don't have the out, and uh, I had the out, so it was, it was nice. Um, and then the last three cards is three Carne, uh, Reincarnation, um, it's just a really strong trap card that the deck uses to stop you from having a hand, which is nutty. Uh, the extra deck, uh, two Kagari, one Shizuku, uh, this is fine, uh, don't need to have more, you realistically don't need to have more, you just gotta be really patient and careful when you use, when you summon whichever one you're gonna summon, like, yeah, you just, patience is really important with it. Uh, two Link Spider, cause we don't have Link Karibo, and, um, Link Spider's really good, makes Brawl Uh, my Spice, uh, Phantom Knight card. I made it a couple of times today. I made it a lot in uh, nationals. Um, it just outs problem boards that like a lily belt. Like a lily belt pokes for damage, and then you summon two. You add the two lycris, and then like you can just poke for. You can just um, summon the break sword and just pop the uh, problem. Well, I know the lily belt is just attacking fast, so it was really good. Uh, space insulator. insulator. It, cheers. Uh, anyway, uh, this card, I did not make it enough in uh, Nationals, and then I made it a ton in, Oce uh, in Oceanics, and it was great. It was fine, so. Um, I felt it underwhelming, and then it was overwhelming, it was great. Uh, Holy Angel, uh, this card was really bad in Nationals. I did not like it. I made it, like, once, and I just didn't do anything. Uh, and then today, in Oceanics, it was, like, it was insane. Uh, it beats all the True Draco mirrors. So, um, just, like... You get two Lycris underneath it, and it just becomes like a two-four monster, and like the True Drakers can't deal with that. Uh, the Nightmare cards, I run Phoenix, <laughs> Goblin, and Unicorn. Um, I didn't make them as much as I did day one. Uh, sorry, in, in Nationals, but um, they just still like really good cards. Uh, Trisbania, I wasn't running this for Nationals because um, I didn't have it. I don't know what I was playing instead of it. Oh, I was playing the Firefighter card that you use for Scapegoat, which is just terrible. Um, this is just heaps better. This is also just beats the um, uh, True Draco decks. Uh, one Firewall, one Boralode. These cards were great. Um, I never made the Boralode, or I did, and it got Widow Anchored, and it was like, great. Um, and then Firewall I never made. Um, I never had the opportunity to loop anyone, which is unfortunate, but... Uh, still good, still very good, very strong. You need it there. And then the one Saruja, uh, the card terrible. I would cut it for a Bomber Dragon. Um, apparently, you reckon like, Bomber Dragon is better? Yeah, well, I was told after the event, it's like, oh, if your opponent like summons, you make the Bomber Dragon in response to your opponent, like when they have the scapegoat set, so that way they can't like scapegoat you because the Bomber Dragon just kills them, um, kills them through the tokens, or it kills the tokens when they summon. So it's just like. Like, yeah, like, the, you summon the Bomber Dragon to the zone and just blow up everything, you're like, cool. Scapegoat dealt with. So, I play that instead of that. Just, it is what it is. So, only things to note is, like, Saruja out for Bomber and Widow Anchor in for whatever. Something. You have to find something. Widow Anchor is insane. Um, side deck, I played a uh, uh, Kaiju package. Um, going in, I was worried there's going to be a lot of, like, Sky Strike, pure Sky Striker decks. And like, this just outs the Sky Striker deck. They just cannot deal with the Kaiju um, because it just blocks all the spells. And I had it today, I did play one and I drew the Interrupted Kaiju Slumber and I had a Lycris on field and he had no monsters. So I just, and he had three back row. So I was like, um, I'll just activate this and like kill my Lycris. And he's like, I don't have the Ash. So I'm like, great, here's a Gamma Seal. I'll summon Dog around and we'll play the game from there. Um, so it made it really easy, but it was still a fun game. Um, they were really good. Uh, they were also in for Kaijus and stuff if I were going second, but it wasn't too much of a big, big deal. Uh, third Twin Twister, this came up in the mirror a bit, um, and the true Draco decks, but other yeah, than that, You need to fine. play Twin Twister in some form of capacity at maximum. Copies. Yeah, it was really good. Like, MST probably could have been just as good, but I think Twin was fine. Um, and then two Heavy Storm Dusters. This was essentially, like, if I was going first, I'd side up the Twin in the main for the tw these two, just this. And then like and then add in uh, some of the cards from my side deck, which are this three strike. But I'd add them in and it was just like really strong because like I didn't have to discard, I just removed my opponent's um, advantage for free for like one card, I like, removed two, and that doesn't affect me at all. Uh, two Mind Crush, I did not side this in as much as I did for Nationals. Um, I thought it was great in Nationals and it wasn't so great now. Uh, just because I think it was just a really different variance of decks. Like I missed a lot more random stuff at Oceanics for some reason than I did at 
nationals. Um, but it is what it is, and it was pretty good. Uh, evenly match. I didn't really side this in at all. Uh, I started in against True Drago. That's it. I didn't come up in against anything else either, so. But it's you need to play it. You have to play it. It's such a good card. Uh, and then my spice for the side was this three strikes. Uh, it just wins the match against Sky, Sky Striker. And it also really hurts um, Trickstar. And, like, it's problematic if they get to the field spell because they can lock the card. And if they do lock the card, well, you just don't get it. Um, but, like, generally the first play that happens is they summon Kagari. And, like, this can just out the Kagari. Or if they don't have the light stage and they have the Candina, you can just remove the Candina and they're just not getting anywhere with it. So Awesome. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. Awesome. Do you have any other shout outs? Uh, yeah, shout out to Bowden uh, for destroying me in top 16 today. Uh, but he was really lovely about it, so he held my hand as I got destroyed. Uh, and then uh, shout out to all the guys play testing with for the last couple of weeks. Um, and staying with them for a couple of days and play testing like crazy and they should really be help. Um, go check out Chaotic Factory for some uh, good singles. I got my trick side deck from Kevin Chio, so which is his his site, uh, Chaotic Factory. So yeah, um, that's about it. Thanks. Awesome. No problem. All right. See you later, man.